At an event held in Ahambandata, United National Party parliamentarian Sajid Premadasa commented on the education sector. Children from families that find it difficult to have three meals a day are forced to steal coconuts. Why? Because today the government does not have money to even paint classrooms under their free education system. Principals don't take notice of these circulars. It is a sad situation to see that efforts are being made to break the spines of the 4.3 million school children by issuing worthless circulars. At this moment, I wish to say that the United National Party will come forth to fight against this. <laughs> This program was held at the Nimba Rama Vihara in Hambantota to donate aid to 225 displaced persons affected by the floods. Subsequently, MP Pramodasa also made a monetary donation for the construction of a building at the Vihara. Equipment was also donated to the funeral society in the area as well. On to one of our headline-making stories, Minister of Higher Education S. Sanaka says that all students who have qualified for universities will, en will be enrolled on the 27th of March. The minister expressed this view at a media briefing following an event held in Urunwara today. According to the proposal agreed to by the court, we have to take an additional 6,000 students. This is a difficult task. However, we are taking measures to accommodate all these students. We will enroll all the students to universities on the 27th of March. As the government, we would like to apologize to all parents and students for the delay. The event was held to provide equipment to temples and sports clubs of the Udanwara Division Secretariat. Right up next is the newspaper cartoon of the day. The joint opposition convened a media briefing in Colombo today. Today, the Sigusa Media Network has at least beautifully built one school and has built the classrooms which are beautiful. I have seen these classrooms. I am from the opposition and I respect the Sigusa Media Institution for undertaking such a grand venture. If the 13 ministers in the government, the 13 involved in education can take this as an example, then the small child would not need to steal coconuts. I need to remind Sivas especially of this. I have nothing to gain and nothing to lose. We speak the truth. What the media should do, what the responsibility of the media is, is to speak out about the woes of the people, to speak of the sorrows of the people to the world. But here they have taken two or three former MPs of the UNP who have retired from politics and are using them to reprimand Juanil. The Sivas Media Institution is going to become a disaster to their kind. The All Island Hindu Conference, organized in lieu of the 150th birth anniversary of Swami Vivekananda, was held in Colombo today. The conference was held at the Shalika grounds in Nara and Pitta. A walk was organized from the Mayurapati Sri Badragaliam and Kovil in Vallavatta to the Shalika grounds in Nara and Pitta before the commencement of the conference. 
The people who arrived at the grounds were welcomed by the organizers of the conference. After the arrival of leaders of religious organizations in Sri Lanka, the group was then taken to the conference. Subsequently, flags were hoisted. Welcome. The function commenced with the bhajan sung by students of the Ramakrishna mission. Floral tributes were laid before Swami Vivekananda and the conference officially commenced with the reading of the conference report. A CD recorded with the aim of instilling Hindu revival was also launched at the occasion. Our sister channel Shakti TV and Shakti FM were the media sponsors of this conference which was aimed at instilling spiritual development in the Hindu community in Sri Lanka. Here after having the several functions at 140 places in Sri Lanka, we have assembled here in a great number. And that is why again I would like to say that I deem myself very fortunate to see such a big crowd with an enthusiasm and a great respect towards Swamiji's philosophy. And I am getting to participate in this function. I would say in the last, let us remember all these things that Swamiji had said some 125 years before we back. Though it is 125 years past now, Take any page from the Swamiji's book, you will find that there is the relevance of it today. Swami Vivekananda ever held Chicago Nagari Lake, Hindu Mother Tirkaha, Hindu Mother Pradhidhiya Chandra and Rikura Muriyadi. You cannot say that as a representative of the Hindu religion, Swami Vivekananda went to Chicago. In the final moment, he went there as a representative of an important woman by the name of Hale. But he had strength in his spirit. He stood and he spoke. Everyone says, my brothers, my sisters. But when that phrase comes from the mouth of Swami Vivekananda, it is different when others said it. Swami Vivekananda showed this bond to the world through the strength of his spirit. Swami Vivekananda man, vayile vandha kandha sakodara sakodari karit. Matravari kuriya sakodara sakodari illai. And the atmika shakti kin mula maga, ilayman uri arulin mula maga, and the... A function to welcome newly appointed Minister of Investment Promotion Lakshmi Yapapewadana was held in Mathura today. Minister Lakshmi Yapapewadana arrived at the Mathura boat tree this morning and obtained blessings after engaging in religious observances. The President has entrusted me with the responsibility of bringing in investment to Sri Lanka. He told me to bring two billion American dollars at the end of this year. The country needs local and international investments in order to move forward. Since there is a very good peaceful environment, I believe that we can do it. The Minister visited a milk rice dancer at the Mathura Botary engaged in cordial discussions with the public. The minister who then visited a mosque in Mathura visited a church thereafter to obtain blessings. From there, the minister travelled to his hometown Makandura in a vehicle parade and people were gathered on the roadsides to welcome the minister. The people of Tihagoda welcomed the minister while the people of Kamburu Pitiya too warmly welcomed the minister. This is the manner in which the minister was welcomed when he arrived at his hometown. A child drowned after falling into a barrel of water in Bhagawan Thalava. A reporter says the child's parents were not at home when the incident occurred. The incident was reported from a home in Teresa estate in Bhagawan Thalava. The infant who drowned in the barrel this morning has been identified as Kali Muthudi Lukshan who was almost a year old. The police say the infant had fallen into the barrel while playing near it. His parents had entrusted the care of the child to a neighbour and had left home to collect wood. I left around 8 in the morning to collect wood. I gave the child to my uncle. Later I heard him shouting asking everyone to come and then we took the child to hospital. Neighbors who took the baby out of the barrel rushed the infant to the Bhagavantalava hospital. The medical office of the Bhagavantalava district hospital ASK Jayasurya said the child died upon admission to the hospital. Dilukshan was the youngest in a family of four. 
The Ceylon Petroleum Storage Terminal Limited says that it has rejected 5,000 metric tons of diesel that did not meet the required standards. The vessel with the shipment arrived at the Colombo Harbour on Friday. Spokesperson for the Ceylon Petroleum Storage Terminal Limited, Nissan Kajawadhan, said that they rejected the shipment, taking lab results into consideration. Test results showed that 5,000 metric tons of diesel did not meet our required standards. Therefore, we rejected the shipment. Permission was not given to unload the shipment. I would also like to mention that the shipment of diesel in question will not be released to the market. We have also taken measures to accept shipments of petrol based on lab results. The news first made inquiries from the managing director of the Lanka IOC, Subodh Dakwale. He said that the 5,000 metric tons were not rejected and that they are awaiting for the laboratory results before accepting the supply. Well, we are 13 days away until one of the much anticipated events for movie lovers such as myself look forward to every year. From today, we will be introducing few of the categories and the nominees that would possibly make history and memories at the 2013 Academy Awards. News First Shahin Jurangpati reports. You can to blow this whole shabrahan, or you more than likely get us both killed. And I, for one, don't intend to die in Chickasaw County, Mississippi, USA. Explain to Christoph about it. Right. Look, I, I gotta tell you, we, we did suicide missions in the army. Man stinking, the moral carcass of the gentleman from Ohio. Proof that some men are inferior, endowed by their maker with dim wits, impermeable to reason, with cold palate. Writer, a doctor, a nuclear physicist, a theoretical philosopher. But above all, I am a man. What are you so up about? Happy. Oh, you're so up, 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 up. Isn't that a good thing? No, you just up, 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 up. I don't, I don't know what, what that is. Are you taking the proper dosage of your medication? On tonight's segment, we will be taking a look at the much-deserving contenders who are on the list of the category of Best Supporting Actor. And to give us some insight on who may win the Oscar this time around, we caught up with Feroz Kamardin, renowned arts director of Stage Light and Magic Theatre Company, who gave us his views and opinion on the nominees this year. I think uh, Christoph Waltz was a brilliant actor. Uh, Tommy Lee Jones, who plays the senator in uh, Lincoln. I think they are probably the, the favorites. And I guess Christoph Waltz will, should get it because he just plays such an incredible role in Django Chain. And I guess in a film like that, when you're up against such a brilliant performance by Jamie Foxx as well, it's a bit difficult to stand out but then Christoph Waltz just he makes that evil look so brilliant. I like Robert De Niro in Silver Linings Playbook. It was not the kind of role I expected him to play. He plays it well. You know, he's one of those people who's got such an incredible reputation behind him. You can't possibly fathom or come up with anything he does wrong, really. There is also heavy competition among the best supporting actresses who have been nominated for an Oscar this year with Anne Hathaway, Helen Hunt and Sally Field in contention. Tomorrow, we will be taking a look at the nominees for the Best Supporting Actress Award.